Hello, fabulous Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is going to be early this month that we are going to have a powerful full moon right around the 8th. But it isn't just about the full moon, but all the energy leading up to it that is going to come into focus now. The full moon does take place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with siblings, cousins, and neighbors. It has to do with communication of all kinds, and it looks like there's a lot of heightened energy playing out at this time. Jupiter and Pluto will connect in their first exact meeting, the first as part of three over the course of this year. And this meeting is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life, your workplace and the people that you interact with there, the type of work that you do. And it is also connected to how well you take care of yourself. Well, this particular full moon is rooted in information, information, communications, conversations showing up for you and feeling a sense of discomfort around that, especially with these particular areas that I just mentioned. So whether it is that you are having some difficult conversations or hear difficult news around a sibling, cousin or neighbor, or whether it is that you are trying to figure out how to uh, navigate difficult conversations with people that you have worked with, people that you do work with, whether it is that you're trying to negotiate or come to an agreement, uh, trying to secure a contract, there can be factors there that feel um, uncomfortable or that feel like there's some power struggle playing out there. And I'm so sorry to say that, but some of this can play out at this time. The good thing though is, is that with tension does come empowerment and does come motivation. And if it is at this time that you receive some news that reminds you that you need to take better care of yourself, so too will come a reminder and information as to how to best empower yourself at this time as well. It is going to be as we navigate later into the month, right around the 23rd, that we will have this month's new moon. This new moon happens at the very top of your sky, having to do with career, social standing, life purpose, a higher, more loving vision for your life. And new moons tend to bring with them new opportunities. But here's the thing. Uranus is hand in hand with this new moon. And this configuration is speaking intention with Saturn, newly in your opposite sign. This connection between Uranus and Saturn that this new moon is awakening now, well, this connection actually is going to be a dominant theme for you in 2021. So in some ways, this energy is going to be quite visionary. It's going to give you some glimpses into some larger lessons that you may be engaged in coming up ahead once we enter 2021. But it is this time and at this moment that it looks like you are thinking more about what career goals are worth pursuing. And it could be now that things change for you very quickly and very dramatically as well. Now, I know that collectively, right, we are going through an experience where a lot of people are being asked to be separate, to be home, to be on their own, to spend time alone as well. And as part of this, there feels like there is uncertainty. For some, this is a chance to be away from a career path that maybe hasn't felt like the right path for a while. But it is now that you're having to be separate and having to sit with what it is that you really feel about the path that you've been pursuing. For some, this can be a time of renewed gratitude. For others, though, this is a time when it is very obvious where it is that the path that you've been on maybe isn't truly in alignment with that higher, more loving vision for your life. Whatever your truth is, it is going to become obvious for you now. For some, it's going to be more uncomfortable than it might be for others. At this time, though, as part of some new career-related opportunities or inspirations, there may be a need to take into consideration someone else's feelings, someone else's perspective. And in fact, if there is a professional alliance or business partnership that you are in, 
especially where it relates to your career, well, it may very well be that particular alliance that is part of what is helping you to find this newfound clarity as to your direction. One thing is for sure though, this is a time of new beginnings and new chapters for you, whether those are rooted in gratitude, whether they're enthusiasm, whether it is that you are finally ready to embrace some pathway that you've wanted to be on for a very long time, well, this is the month that can start to change your direction in some way. Where it comes to matters of love, an important month in that context for you. We do have Venus going into shadow right around the 10th, next month going retrograde. So be on the lookout in the first half of this month. I will have a uh, Venus retrograde special horoscope. So again, be on the lookout for that. But outside of that, it is as you start this month that Mars is newly in your opposite sign. And in the days leading up to that full moon, Mars will be speaking with Uranus in a conversation of tension. And as I said, at that new moon late in the month, it is going to be Saturn speaking with Uranus in a conversation of tension. So it does look like there are these important placements in your opposite sign now that are asking for your honesty, but also may have an unpredictability factor, like a very quick moving surprise factor. And it can also be frustrating. For those of you who are open to meeting someone new, this can be a time when it can feel as if very quickly people are popping up, but just as quickly it could feel as if they are uh, not. It can feel as if there's someone of interest and then they do something and you have all kinds of mixed feelings around it and decide that you are going in a different direction just as quickly as well. Now, ultimately, you are learning about yourself at this time. With Mars in your opposite sign, there certainly is a desire to connect with another. And that could have you feeling especially courageous now. But regardless, the great thing is, at least with Saturn there, you're also being honest about the people that you may be meeting at this time. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, a month like this is very all or nothing. I mean in all kinds of ways all of us are making very ultimate decisions now and that certainly includes you the difference is your realizations your insights are sudden they are quick very quickly you see the truth of who this person is and either it is going to encourage you to evolve and change and embrace a journey ahead with this person or like ripping off a band-aid which is what Mars speaking with Uranus can be, like ripping off a Band-Aid, you realize that this is not the person for you and it comes to an end. Things are very uh, accelerated at a time like this and that includes your understanding of what is true for you and whether or not this person is for you. You'll come to that appreciation in a quick flash of insight and once you know you can't go back. It can't be different. And again, this is very all or nothing. You'll either be all in overcoming your own resistance to bond with this person more deeply, or you'll realize you really do not want to move any further with this person. And for those of you who are in an established bond, this can be a powerful time as well. For a very small percentage of you out there, if you know that you're not in the right relationship for you and you've known that for a while, it is a time like this that gets you really honest with yourself about that. And in a moment of heightened energy, you may very well have to look at that in its stark honesty. But if that's not the case, if you know that you are in the right relationship for you, then this can be a time of heightened energy, heightened emotion, and surprise as well. Of course, you'll be able to navigate it. You'll understand the best course of action to take. But just know that right about now, and especially in the first part of the month, in the days leading up to that full moon, it can feel like what's happening with your partner is a surprise a minute and is catching you off guard. But regardless, the two of you will come to a deepening understanding as you navigate forward. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's so much here. I am going to say, I do love how in the days leading up to the full moon, even with the more challenging energy, we've also got some really beautiful energy 
as well. Where it comes to your finances, for example, like being able to access resources, your relationship to financial institutions, the right communication, the right connection, just being willing to reach out, to fill out forms, to have conversations. Well, that's going to ensure that you know that you will be okay financially speaking. And that can give you some sort of comfort. That can allow you some sense of stability as you navigate what otherwise could feel a little bit more challenging. You are going to have to watch what you say. You may evoke all kinds of reactions that you hadn't anticipated. And at the same time, you may feel restricted as to being able to say what it is that you do truly want. But for all that, this time has its wisdom. This time is helping you to get more honest about your own purpose. And that is huge. But the answers that you find now are going to lend themselves to powerful changes that accelerate your pathway towards a higher and more loving vision for your life. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes like the recent Saturn special horoscopes. Like coming up this month, uh, we are gonna have Venus retrograde season special horoscopes as well, and so much more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month, enjoy.